Work plus conflict is a disagreement and dispute between two colleagues or two workers. Work plus conflict can reduce the productivity and harm the company culture. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate with my other teammates, Nishesh and Shushma, how work plus conflict can be retained and how a su uh, supervisor can actually tackle the work plus conflict and manage their action plan. Hi, how are you going, Sus? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Nishesh? Yeah, I'm all right these days. Uh, and you know, I'm so happy because next, next week, uh, my big festival, the say, is coming. And I am submit for my leave as well to the manager. Wait, what? Next week? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Why do you have anything that Ah, uh, I must go to AFL. It's a final match with the Tazi team are playing, so I need to go there. You can't take day off on that day. Why? I'm not taking taking that day off because that is my big festival. That comes within a year, once time. Oh, uh, you want to celebrate this festival? It comes like regularly in a year. My my match it comes like once in a lifetime, so oh. I can't miss that one now. How you can follow up the religious religion thing? Uh, crap! I don't believe in these religions and stuff. Shut up your mouth! Do not to tell bad thing about our culture and our festival. I guess thanks for joining. I hope you guys know why I called you here. And um, I know like uh, you guys are having some hard time getting along each other. Is there anything, Nishesh? Um, no, we're good. We don't have any problems. Uh, well, but uh, in my opinion, I have seen you guys having some issues this morning. Like you were very aggressive and rude to uh, Shushma this morning. What really happened, Shushma? Honestly, when from I joined this company, no one like talk to me proper way. If I tell, if I ask the question related to the work, no one can give me an answer of that. For example, Nishesh is my next to my cabin, and one day mm -hmm. I'm going with him to ask some question related to the work of, obviously, and he just like ignores me, and that's really felt me a heart and that is not in like in the workplace we are not together right that's hurts me so i i have that issue with all of this stuff like the niches as well oh, well uh, i'm really very sorry that you are suffering from such issues in our company do you have anything to say about this Nishesh? uh he knows he had some problems but for me it's very hard to find her english uh well <laughs> and her English is not fluent and she speaks very slow which is very hard for me to understand yeah, that's all that's not kind of you Nishesh. like she's having a hard time adjusting in the new workplace and you should be more aware and helpful to this like also remember like uh, English is not her first language oh uh, mate that's not my problem why did she came to the country if she doesn't speak in English properly I know my English is not that clear, not that fluently because of that reason I came to Australia to be, choose my better life and better lifestyle. Uh, well, in this case, I agree to Shushma because uh, like she doesn't have the best English, but she is one of the best employee of my company. Like she has been working hard. She has working uh, with other people, getting along with each other and she has been very polite to everyone. And uh, yeah, you might not be able to understand this situation because uh, you are from Australia. But yes, I feel this. I have faced this situation before. Like six years, six years ago, when I came to Australia, I had the similar situation. But that time, my friends, my colleagues, they really got my back. They helped me to understand the situation. And you know, like uh, as Australia is a culturally diverse country, so there are people from everywhere. Like. Almost every country, like you can find the people here in Australia, so it is culturally diverse. So we should understand and respect each other's space. And that should be, you know, the uh, uniqueness of the uh, our cultural and our workplace culture. And also, I must say, like, according to our uh, company policy, you must respect each other's religious and cultural beliefs. You, you cannot just, you know, mock at uh, someone's cultural belief or cultural background. So it has been made clear in the article 17.3 of our co uh, company statement. So that's the policy statement you must, you know, adhere to. Wow, I've never looked things in this way. I'm so sorry for any difficulties and inconvenience to you, Sushma. Um, to be honest, I don't have any international friends so that I didn't thought about uh, the common feelings which you had. So once again, I'm very sorry from bottom of my heart. 
not to be sorry that's fine uh, you didn't understand because you didn't have any international friends because of that even you know about the Asian culture and all of, all of the things and I'm glad to hear that okay, you are now kind and honest to me as well and that's not your only one your fault that's my, uh, somehow my fault as well so not to worry about that well I'm, I'm really really happy that you guys at, le at least you understand realize your mistakes so and Nisha's like that's really I really appreciate that one and uh, that is what matters the most in a company culture like we're working as a team work collaborating to each other to reach the efficiency and stuff and I'm, I'm really really happy that you realized your mistake and if you guys are free like we can go for a drinks after the work so we can you know make up a good uh, bonding uh, with each other so that will help us to you know like understand each other as well and also a good thing is like I as a being a supervisor I will give you both the day off so that you can watch your AFL final match and you can go for yeah, your mission. Yeah, that's good for so you. That's good for enjoy us your, as well. Yeah, yeah you that's good for us. Too. Yeah, yeah, done for it, mate. Yeah. How would that's you, Shishma? I'm so happy because this festival it comes once in a year and we celebrate a big way and we just meet all our family. I'm happy. I'm happy. So much happy about your decision. That's Thank it. You. And I'm happy for Nisha as well because he wants to win see the yeah. EFL as well. You're right, you're see, right. See, like, yeah. you yeah. all are happy right now. We're yeah. good, mate. We're yeah. good. Yeah, because of good supervisor, we, we both are happy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks, Thanks mate. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, Shushma, so uh, I will uh, arrange a meeting with you and other team members so that we can easily get along with each other and work collabor collaboratively. And uh, uh, Nisha's, uh, I, thanks for realizing the things. I hope things are going to be good from now on. And also we can uh, meet, you know, the monthly targets that we're going to set for both of, you's, both of you guys. And I will email the details of the meeting and the outcomes to both of you. And uh, you can share your feeling, what you have thought, and your, uh, if you think this something can be improved. So feel free, do not hesitate to reply back to me. That's all I can do for you guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you mate. So thank you. And thank I you. really love that. Yeah, you guys shook hands. Thank that's, you. That's, that's, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.